3D design, let's continue learning about proportion. So we just talked about a lot of the proportions of the face and the body. And um, a classic thing to do when it comes to learning about proportions is to, um, you know, when we talk about the proportions of the human body, we kind of measure ourselves in how many heads tall we are. And remember, the average human body is about seven to eight heads tall. So um, if you're a taller, bigger person, you're going to have a bigger head too. And if you're a shorter person, you're going to have a smaller head because all of our bar bodies usually stay in pretty good proportions and we're always seven to eight heads tall. Now, um, we can do the same thing when it comes to animals too. A classic one to look at is um, horses. And so you'll kind of like take the length of the head and kind of compare it to other parts of the body um, or just different parts of the body to different parts of the body. So <laughs> that's a little confusing. Let me explain. Um, so for example, if you take the length of the head, you'll kind of notice that it's about the same as the width of its neck. Okay. Um, if you take the length of the head, it almost looks like it's about, its legs are about two heads tall. Okay. Um, if you kind of um, draw this square, you'll notice that the height of the horse, okay, from like from its hoof to like the top of its booty, <laughs> okay, this is its height, and it's like in in these this area of the horse, you'll notice that its height is about equal to the width between the front legs and the back back legs. So that's what I meant when I said. Um, that um, you can kind of compare different parts of the body to different parts of the body. So like the height of this part is equal to the width of this part, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, you can kind of see it right there. Now, obviously in nature, um, like um, it is, it does, it does happen in nature when you do see um, animals and even human beings who are out of proportion. Um, so it does happen and we do recognize it right away. Um, so you have kind of like this one of these little mini horses and you can kind of tell it's a little different, not just because it's small, but it's also a little bit out of regular proportion like this horse. Okay. Now, um, what I'd like us to do is to get some more practice kind of uh, looking at animals and noticing the proportions ourselves. So I made this worksheet for you. So you're going to want to get that out. Okay. Um, let me try and increase this. Here we go. Okay. Um, it's called practicing animal proportions. Okay. And I'm doing an example here. I look, took a look at a little lamb, a little cute little lamb before it got too fluffy with wool. And I started kind of noticing some of the proportions of its body. So this is an example here where the length of the ha lamb, the ham's head, wow, the length of the lamb's head is about the same as the height of its waist. So from here, the head is about the same as its waist, okay? Um, but its head, the length of the head and the length of the legs, I noticed the legs are about one and a half heads tall. So if I was going to sculpt a lamb, I'd want to make sure and capture that proportion that I see. Um, I also noticed, that, uh, this is a cute one, that the length of its ear is equal to <laughs> the length of its tail. I hadn't noticed that before. So there's a proportion I can grab if I was going to um, sculpt a lamb. So um, go ahead and take a look at what I did and then get, start getting practicing at least drawing. Try to go ahead and draw that lamb in correct proportions. And drawing will like kind of transcend into sculpture as well. Um, if you can kind of draw it, then you can kind of sculpt it correctly too. So we have to kind of work from that layer and then work up into sculpture. Now you'll take a look at the back and you'll see this nice picture of a deer, a doe, a female deer. Okay, and now it's your turn to start noticing some of the proportions of this animal. So I really recommend kind of doing like what I did with the lamb and with the horse um, and take a look at like the length of the, the, the deer's head and start trying to compare it to other parts of the body. Um, but there could be other like parts of the body that you find like equalness or some sort of proportion or something like we did with the giraffe, remember? The giraffe, we noticed that the length of its neck was equal, about equal to the length of its legs. <laughs> we found that proportion. So go ahead and take a look at this deer and try to find some proportions, some natural proportions. And um, you have to kind of like write them in there, okay? Um, like we did, like I did on the back with the lamb. So tell me about some of the natural proportions that you see. And if you have extra time or something, you can try drawing the lamb, maybe on a scrap, uh, the lamb, the deer. <laughs> We're talking about the deer. If you have some extra time, you can try drawing it. Um, if you have a scratch piece of paper, go ahead and try drawing it. Why not? It'll only help you more when you go to sculpt things. So um, not that you're going to sculpt a deer, but when you choose your animal, it'll just help you more later.